to build something better here. Building back a historic block on South Kings Highway, the crumbling boarded up building finally slated to come down. This is First Lord 4 at 6. I'm Corey Stark. Samantha Jones is off tonight. Well, after demoing these houses, a developer wants to build new townhomes here, but this is not the first time someone is setting their sights on fixing these properties. These seven properties are just south of I-64 along Kings Highway, and our Nathan Vickers is live explaining what the future holds. Well, this is a busy stretch of road. Kings Highway has a lot of cars, maybe thousands going by here every day. And there's also been a lot of development around here in the Grove and Forest Park Southeast. But you never know that to look over here at buildings like this one. These seven buildings are all crumbling and they've been a frustration for people on this street for years. And they're hoping that whatever's coming next will look better than that. The view from the neighborhood. It's not very beautiful. Has long been an ugly one. It's just a lot of boards. And for Emily Funkhauser and others who live near the seven abandoned buildings on South Kings Highway, the problems pose a safety issue too. It definitely is a bit of an eyesore, and I think it's a large part of why I won't walk home from school at night. That was one of the main concerns when we moved into the neighborhood is like there's all these boarded up houses. Some of the properties have been vacant for more than 20 years. There's been some major structural issues. Alderman Michael Browning says past owners included jury hotels in Lux Living, neither of whom did much with the properties. They put no time or maintenance into them. Past efforts to demolish them failed in part because of preservation issues. After facing pressure from the city, the owners sold it to North Point Development in a partnership with two neighborhood residents. We now are in a state where the buildings are in disrepair. At this point, Browning says they're past saving, with some nearing collapse. We think that we will be uh, probably moving for emergency demo in the next few weeks. North Point is planning a multifamily development in its place, the company's first residential project in the area. We have an opportunity to build something better here, uh, build something that is denser, offer more housing for people, and we're excited to see where that leads. At this point, neighbors say they're ready. It's important for the city to invest in housing. For the buildings to come down. See something happening in our neighborhood is, is really exciting. Well, North Point says they don't know yet how many uh, units they're going to put in here. They're still in the planning phase for all of this. We also reached out to Lux Living, the previous owner of the buildings. They didn't respond to our request for comment. Reporting live in St. Louis, Nathan Vickers, first alert four. New at six, first response.